in this so I can turn it on. And we're back. Whew. Man. 22 minutes goes quickly, right? It does. See what I did there? It does go quick. I, uh, what did you do? Made you make a statement, right? Body suits for men. Body suits for men. <laughs> you don't want to talk about one. body suits for men. I, I can't believe that actually exists. I can't either. That I, uh, was amazing. <laughs> I mean, look. The joke really exists behind openly heterosexual men wearing these things, right? Let's be honest here. There aren't too many guys that are drinking beer, chugging them down, and looking at a catalog to see what tone <laughs> they want their next bodysuit. And uh, the, the website is they what? Were, they were bodysuitsformen.com or something. I don't know. Like that. I don't remember, but it was excellent. Well, let's go back to reality for a little what? bit and let's talk about mental illness. Okay. And uh, how are you feeling today? I feel great. Do you feel that you're a crazy person? <laughs> I do not. All right. Do you Do feel you? that I am a... Well, that's a great question. I'm going to hold that till the end because we need to first define the word crazy, right? We can't just use the word crazy because it's often misused. It is misused. Think about true. how many good songs that are... Have the word in it. Have the word yeah. crazy in it. For example, let's... let's uh, Let's do a movie and a song, okay. but let's not write it down. Okay. All right. The movie let's is not. the Hudsucker Proxy. I wrote that down. Oh, cool. And uh, the song is crazy. Now, the Hudsucker Proxy really is what, have you ever seen this movie? I have not. Oh, that's really cool. All right. Um, there's so many things that I- Tim Robbins, who's great. Tim Robbins is amazing. He's in another great movie that I he love. He is the ultimate uh, guy favorite movie actor. It's the uh, Shawshank Redemption. Yes, that's yes, always, yes. it's either Godfather or Shawshank Redemption. And the Godfather, my favorite part, have you ever seen The Godfather? I, well, quite a number of times I've watched it and it was on last night. Have you ever seen how they killed uh, Sonny? His son? Uh, they baited him. You see, Sonny was a hothead, and all it took was him believing that his sister was being beaten up for him to jump in the car with no oh, bodyguards right. yeah, 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 and yeah, expose yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, believe it or not, the reaction that Wasn't our... Wasn't that also the, the, hus the, the husband of the daughter? Didn't he get in the car never to be seen again, or did he get something else? You know, uh, the husband of the daughter is... A narrative that is hard for me to follow because the daughter herself is just such a horrible human being. So, so, so it's horrible. very, so it's true. really, really like and once, like, once she becomes recently, I was yeah. like, she sucks. Yeah, no, that's Tal Talia Shire, the that is Adrian herself, yes, and Adrian, the mother of Jason Schwartzman, who became an actor in his own right. And there's a lot of nepotism in Hollywood. I digress. And you can continue. No, I... I suck your proxy. I like when you digress because I think that the audience has seen a lot of me speaking. They have. A lot of hours of you up here. Well, the point of what I'm trying to say is that other than speaking the truth on camera, there's really nothing that we've done that's that special. But the sad reality is that people are so scared that you, Jamie Resnick, is going to speak the truth that they will do anything they can to silence you. Yes. And one of the ways that people in our community silence other people is by going after their insecurities. Correct. And I am the most insecure about my children's happiness. Yes. I am not a human being who can tolerate my children's happiness being affected. And after the videos that we posted last week, there are many people who are now trying to undermine our efforts to expose corruption, to bring, um, I don't know, life-saving solutions such as uh, the end of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict as is perceived, or perhaps Alzheimer's, or even uh, suicide, which I was able to successfully solve as an applied mathematical equation. But I'm gonna pause okay. on giving any more solutions to people that are gonna laugh at me. I think that's a great idea. And the reason why I say this is because I even have to go out of my way and structure the content about what I'm going to do to show everyone, hey, inside of my brain is a very complex 
system of algorithmic responses based on my complicated job that I have to do with very little resources and absolutely zero support. So as I am trying to be a father and to spend time with my children and make them happy, our community has actually turned their backs on us completely. Did yes, you know that? That is true. Now, what reason would you think that a community would turn their backs on a relatively decent father? I try to do the best I can. I definitely treat all kids that I interact with with a lot you of do. respect and I do the best I can to educate them and not overwhelm them, which I know I, I do very quickly. And Jamie, who has done nothing but really shown her support for everybody else's projects, who has tirelessly worked on being a mother, who is never thanked for anything that she ever does. And the minute that she is able to speak in front of the camera, the reactions are very negative. Very Why? Negative. Why? Fear. Fear of what? What do you? What is it? Her fear not of? Not fear. Of me. I mean, not. I'm not afraid. Meaning, other people have fear. Other people. Because you're going to expose them. Expose the truth. Expose the truth, right? Yeah. Now, what is like what is the routine. what is so offensive about the truth? People generally forget about people. How about how about truth. how about the people in Livingston, New Jersey, where we live? I have to live somewhere, right? Yeah. I'm a father. Yeah. I don't think anyone gives a shit about that. I think that they definitely don't. Well, here's the question that I really presuppose to okay. the society, right? Huh? What Why do, do we teach children that bullying is bad? Answer it Are directly. You me yeah. Question? Why do you have to teach? A child that bullying is bad. Wouldn't they know they that just know. it's like touching a fire, right? Mm -hmm. Why do we have to teach that bullying is bad? Why? I don't know. It's, I feel like you have a like an answer that you're. I have an answer, wanna... but what I want is for you, as a mother, without any preparation. Well, I think on it should camera. be taught at home not to bully. I think that. That's not what I asked. I didn't say. The, because there's been so much bullying that no. they, they have to have it as a topic. No, 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 no. Bullying has been around for thousands of years. Why? Why do we have to teach children? I will explain. You see, never in our society have we been so versed and apt at social interactions. And the younger you are and the more exposure you have to the outside world, the higher the mathematical probability is that you will oppress another Do you child mean like or be so oppressed. The link between like the fact that our children are so involved with social media and no, cut off no, 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 social no. We haven't, we haven't even gotten to the social media part of it. Yeah. We're talking about, to bring it back to the nineties. You okay. see the nineties really showed us why bullying is so big is because in the nineties, every mom really had a minivan and a station wagon and in our neighborhood and was really committed to their children's social agenda. In uh, the, yeah, I feel like I really didn't hear about bully, learning about bullying in school until I had kids. Well, a lot of that has to do with agendas, and a lot of that has to do with the ability to raise focus on something that is very I evident. Think when I was growing up, the big focus was drugs, mad, drunken dr mothers against drunk drivers, drugs, and drugs, 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 and Nancy drugs. Reagan. Right. Don't so do then, drugs. so then we evolved as a society, and, then it and we realized, into bullying, maybe. right, right, bullying is a big thing. But if we as a society have to teach our children not to bully on a one-on-one -on -one interaction, meaning human beings, by what right do we have as a society to give children social media without the ability to either monitor or not monitor their content? And I'll explain to you what I mean by that. You see, I'm a father and I have a really big problem. I'm fighting against the wave of lies that have both of my children hooked on YouTube, TikTok, and everything else. Yeah. But as a father, I chose to do something about it. And I hope that my children one day will appreciate what I, the number one applied mathematician in the world, was able to think of. And what I was able to think of was an invention called anti-social media. Yes, Correct. Now, this is this. just one of the many facets of why I started this channel. But I really wanted to start this channel so everyone can see that there's a human being out there that has zero interest in the fake part of social media. And I will show what one human being can produce with Sorry. absolutely nothing. And my children are told very clearly not to watch this channel because its content is not for them. But the reality is that their father is very much committed to making sure that they don't get bullied. Now, the way that they get bullied 
the way same that, way we get bullied? No, it's much more complicated. You see, you are connected to your child. So in order for them to be bullied, you have to be bullied. And you have to be bullied for them to be bullied. I'll explain. A child's perception of the world is based solely on what they are able to receive. So there's many children that do not care about insults because they hear them on a daily basis. Do you insult your kids on a daily basis? Oh my God, no. Okay. <laughs> but if you did, they would have much thicker skin and they would be able to handle things a lot more. So you must understand that a big part of if your children have their feelings hurt is because in your brain, whether or not you recognize it or not, you take responsibility for not making them stronger. So your reaction is not just based on, oh shit, you hurt my son's feelings. Like, oh shit, I failed as a mother. Meaning that my child is not part of the oppressors, which then you would have a completely different perspective on. Right, right, right. And your child is not strong enough to handle the situation on their own. So it is virtually impossible for a human being to be bullied as a minor in an advanced society such as ours without having both the parent and the child be bullied. And if you notice the systemic difference in what used to be and what was is that when you're dealing with a child that's being bullied or bullying, you can very quickly go to their parents and either have a conflict or a resolution. In social media, there are no parents involved. There is absolutely zero accountability and there's no responsibility. So it's irregardless of the circumstances. It is an impossible wave to fight. And that's my concern because my children are really sociable. And what has happened in my town is that once I released the videos from last week and Jamie had, a lot of people have turned around and there's one individual that has actually dangled their child's relationship with my child based on these videos. Yes. Now, if you find yourself in a situation where I'm talking about you on YouTube, you are 100% my enemy. You are not a friend, you're not a neutral party, you are 150,000% my enemy. You have just hurt my children, you have hurt me. That is a double. Now, I hope that my children can grow up one day and recognize that I did not make this channel by 100% choice. I was forced to do it, because there was no other way to get it done. But once I came up here and found my voice, I recognized that, holy shit, my words are all being used against me. And we find yes, ourselves in a society true. teaching children to stand up to bullies, to fight the power, to run to adults. And yet when I run to law enforcement, nothing happens. When I speak <laughs> the truth, people laugh at me. So what kind of an example are we setting for our children if we suppress the voice of a mother and a father who are doing nothing more than exposing Just standing here talking. hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars of fraud and corruption, which we have spent our entire lives reading about in the press, yet when we are the victims of it, it goes completely ignored. Yes, we're so bogged down by this minutia of what's going on of the bullying in our town that we haven't even been able to really talk about some of the bigger issues. Well, the reality is that if it wasn't for my wife, who I actually care about a lot, and the discretion that I show on this channel is solely based on my wife. The only people, it's true, I, I, the only I'm people that I am true. trying to appease are my in-laws and my wife, who feel that they're not special enough for my love, they feel that I have some sort of an agenda outside of bringing the family together. No matter what I do, no matter what I say, it's like Groundhog Day where all actions that I take that I feel are positive are spun backwards against me. And no matter what I say or do, it'll always be the wrong thing. Well, you're not working, <laughs> you're making those stupid videos with Jamie on YouTube. <laughs> But please These understand, are important videos. they're not just important videos. Human beings need to be educated into the reality of what a job is. A job is what you do to generate income. I, Daniel M. Rhesus, am a victim of several judgments that prevent me from liquidating my assets and bringing proper attorneys in order to handle my cases. I am left it's with myself and Jamie. Yes. But the reality is that people need to understand that this is not a movie. I can't just drop everything that I'm working on and run to Home Depot and file an application. No. Or, <laughs> or, 
Oh, you know, I was the CEO of Pierce Bainbridge. I'm sure that my, my knowledge of the business aspect of a law firm is good enough to have me hired on a contract basis, but I can't. It comes with so much baggage because we live in a digital world. And in a digital world, a human being is really not allowed to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. And I'll prove it to you like this. We filmed a lot of videos. We filmed a bunch of titles last week, right? Absolutely. Do you know which video had the most amount of hits? I don't. The one that says, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked yeah, up. Yeah, I fucked I up. I fucked up. <laughs> and the sad reality is that you all believe that the numbers you see are real. You really believe that 95 people have watched it. Let me tell you something, okay? There's over 4,000 people that just want to see me embarrass myself that I know of, okay? Easily. <laughs> yeah, okay, so. 10,000. <laughs> so like the fact that you can actually look at an algorithm and not understand that these numbers are manipulated in order to suppress the actual data and only have the human beings that say, huh, let me think about Daniel and Jamie and let me watch this video. Now the thoughts that you have are irrelevant. It is the time irrelevant. that you give me. So I have only seen a very small number of people from this little shitty town from taking a look at this important thing that we're going to talk about. But as a father, our society has made it virtually impossible. Unless you are a human being who is a professional entertainer, who makes a living by discussing important subjects yeah. in a controlled environment, which is edited, scripted, and released based on the content approved by a massive corporation. Well, what's funny is all so many of these people love reality TV, yet... And it's fake. Yeah, this, this is... It's very simple, Jamie. This is... It's very simple. If you're a human being who follows really good-looking people on Instagram, you will hate this channel. And I'll explain. <laughs> yeah. Because the people that are really good-looking and have really successful lives, you don't really, really comprehend of the calculation of time that it takes to curate a very their small short reel. the highlight reel we of their life the highlight, highlight so the reel. choices that they make so for example there's Are a lot of guys the there's a lot of guys that are really into biking these days you ever oh, seen yes, that yes, and they, they make a lot of videos they like they like the, now that's the an outfit. acceptable that's an acceptable outlet of social media you have a lot of people that approve it you're showing people but the reality is biking takes hours it takes hours to prep and it takes even more time to do Away the back end family too well, I mean, unless you have some sort of like a harmonious avatar biking family, you're, you're not going to really be able to do the same thing. And even on a bike, you can't really have a conversation with your children. I mean, you know, how are we doing over here? We're great. Whoa, We're time minutes. goes so quickly. So, ladies and gentlemen, video one, I'm going to tell you right now that my piece of shit town of Livingston, New Jersey has done a lot of good for me. They have one of the best police departments, one of the best fire departments. They have unbelievable resources. Their schools are top notch. My kids go to one of the best schools I've ever seen in my entire life. I will go to bat 2,000 times over for the principal and all the teachers that are amazing. But the people that live in this town that have the means to afford all of this have become rotten. Yes. They become rotten at the core. And until I see a constituent of individuals either subscribing to the channel or sending some support to you, Jamie. Not to me. You see, I am not a lovable human being. All my life I've been told how much I suck as a son, as a brother, as a father. Like, I don't know, people just tell me I suck all the time. And what that does is- We're like it, the yin and yang. I'm very lovable. You are very lovable, but the minute you became friends with me and started working <laughs> for me, you became persona non grata and that really is the statement that I'm trying to make. Look at Jamie, right? Same human being who has done absolutely nothing wrong, but yet you treat her like absolute garbage. You have no respect for her. You arrest her. You humiliate her. You throw her scraps and bones so she stays alive and she still perseveres and actually does everything. Because ladies and gentlemen, she's a real mother and a real mother will not allow people to change the narrative about who they are but i allow it because i have a lot more self-awareness than i should and that is because of my father who had no self-awareness and that's where curb your enthusiasm joke really comes in where leon in the lead last season i i can't even i think the next video we have to talk about curb your enthusiasm I, I really my mind is blown. Blown, blown and uh larry gets kicked out of a country club so we're going to be talking about, if you ever want a teaser, the next video is all about Larry getting kicked out of a country club. And 
I don't know much about this world, but I know the science the behind it. I'm getting kicked out of a fucking country club. club. All right? When I die on my gravestone, I would like it to read Daniel Reese's father, son, proudly kicked out of a country club with one of the best background stories of all time. I mean. Okay? And the difference between me and Curb Your Enthusiasm is that I don't have hundreds of millions of dollars. I am not a celebrity, and I'm not an ugly old white man. <laughs> <laughs> See, those are the two factors that really need to be present for everyone to digest the brilliance of this man. He needs to be internally fulfilled and externally unfulfilled. And that conflict is what you see on camera. Yeah. I am fulfilled in all aspects of my life other than a mon temporary monetary issue, which is directly caused by men. But his brutal honesty and is, is accepted by people and watched and laughed at while as yours <laughs> is mocked and ridiculed and you're called crazy. Well, because that is an edited product. If you took my content and make little shorts, you would have thousands of people watching it. Did that, isn't that what happens? Yeah. <laughs> so that's all it is. It's just that if you take out all the extra words, remove reality from the equation, you will have a very successful 20 year arc, which is what you see on Curb Your Enthusiasm. All right, Jamie, let's send it away. All right, till next time. I'm Dan Rhesus. I'm Jamie. And I'm covering your head. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>